I'm Rob Gorley, and uh, what we've been working with is a reformulation of the atomic structure of water. And basically, if you were to look at a water molecule, it would look something about like this. The blues representing the hydrogens, the green representing the oxygen. What we're doing is restructuring this molecule into this form here, which is a diatomic hydrogen, where the two hydrogens are bonded to each other in a diatomic state with a single bond back to the oxygen. This is a balloon filled with the hydro gas, which is the second form of water, and it is extremely light, and I'll let it go here, and you'll see it'll float right to the ceiling. Now, I'll show you with propane. Here, this is a partially burned fuel. This is a cleaner burn. By adding just a very, very minute amount of this gas to the air intake, you can make it go away completely. Now, but also, this is water burning now. This is nothing but hydroxyhydrogen in a, in a burning mode. You'll end up with water, which is the byproduct of combustion. You can see it just dripping off. But if you allow the gas to react with a, with a, a substrate by getting it much closer, it will actually take the material and utilize it as a fuel source. You can take a piece of copper and if you get in close you can actually just cut it right basically just melt it to nothing. And with the ceramics you can actually take them up to the point of probably somewhere between 10 and 12,000 degrees because that's the point at which this material will actually melt. This flame here will react with glass just like it does with, with other metals. You can see the glass is slowly oozing down the side. Here's, here's a piece of tar sands. This is from Canada. Yeah, we can let that cool now. This little guy here will cool here in a minute. You can see how it's a piece of glass. It's an odorless gas, colorless, and it is safe to breathe, so it does not have any toxicities to it. We also feel that it will have the, the ability to remove carbon monoxide poisoning because of the way the gas will react. It will turn carbon monoxide within one's body into carbon dioxide. We've been successful at compressing over 1500 PSI. Uh, we're able to store the gas and it, you can use it on demand or you can go ahead and store it in, in standard type storage tanks.